happy people i'm back with another video and today i'm super excited i'm going to be reviewing a foldable led ring light studio box you guys i purchased this for the purposes of being able to take pictures of um, my nail products and press on nails i do make and sell press on nails here locally and i did want to have a way to be able to take really nice pictures of the press on nails that i make so that i can put them on my website to hopefully sell them for you guys in the future so i bought this for that purpose okay so this is 25 centimeters it's foldable so it's really small and portable and um you can adjust the lights on it and it has 12 different background colors which i think is super super cool so so, I'm gonna go ahead and get this open for you guys and yeah let's let's get into it man I'm excited for this product okay so this is how it comes again it just kind of says what was on the top there let me just take this piece out this also came inside the box so that's all that's included here let's look yeah this is really portable now isn't it okay and it has a bag okay so this is the whole studio box here, you guys, in a little tiny bag with a handle. So that's cool in and of itself. So let's see how they set this bad boy up, okay? So we're gonna pull it out here. Okay, alrighty. So these here, okay, cool. So this here is the different background colors that it has. So let's go, go through those really quick. Okay, so it looks like they have blue, and they said that the color, the backgrounds are actually um, double-sided. So this one has blue, and then on the other side is purple. We have brown, on the other side is green, okay? We have, I guess this is kind of like gray taupe. On the other side, it's like a kind of a nude color, peachy nude. We have white. On the other side of it is black. That's nice they put white and black together. Um, then we have like this kind of orangey color. Other side is yellow, that's nice. And then we have red. Other side of it is another just kind of like basic nude color. So I love that it has all of these different options for backgrounds, okay? So those are the six sheets, 12 backdrops that it comes with. Here are the instructions that tell you how to put it together, okay? So expand the studio put down support plate to fix the studio insert background cloth into the elastic band assemble complete connect power to use and overlook okay so that's nice what's cool about it too is it going to have like a, a top down way to be able to take pictures as well you can take it from the front or from the top which is really cool on the back here just gives more information about um the wattage and everything for the ring light okay so this is it here you guys look how small this is you tell me this is a whole studio okay this is cool so all right let's see how it looks like when you expand it so when you expand it you pop it open like this okay it's not that big i actually expect it to be a lot bigger so that's cool the inside of it feels very strong and sturdy it's very good cardboard so that's nice to see um oh nice so you then you just put this part down So then that's the whole studio. What? Like 2.5 seconds. I'm here for it. So at the top here, you all can see that it does have a ring light. And it looks like this part right here, this flap opens and closes. That's really cool. So I'm going to just take the plastic off of here. Like so. Oh, I love this. Okay. And at the very top of it too. It does have a power button, so I guess this adjusts the brightness and turns it on and off. Okay, so how do we plug it in? Oh, okay, here we go. Wow, y'all, this is really cool and compact. So then we have a plug here that you'll use to plug it in. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this plugged into a power block. So the only thing it is missing is a power block, but I mean, I know we all probably have enough of those laying around everywhere. So I'm gonna go find one real quick and I will be right back. Now it is all plugged into the power block and let me just try to zoom out some more. So this is what the inside of it is looking like, you guys, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and tap the top of it here to turn it on. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap the top of it here to turn it on, okay? Okay, so did it turn on? No. Nope. Oh, there it is. Wow, look at that. Okay, cool. 
And so then, because it's turned on, the light is going to just reflect and ricochet off of everything. How cool is this? So I want to see how bright it gets. So I'm going to uh, see the brightness here. Oh, did I turn it off? Okay, I turned it off. Does it get lower? Let me see. Oh, you got to press and hold it. Okay. So when you want to adjust the lightness and the brightness in the dark, how light it is, you just, if you want to dim the brightness, you just hold it. And if you want to increase it, you hold the plus. If you want to decrease it, you hold the minus. I'm going to go ahead and turn off all the lights here in my room. So I'm going to turn my ring light off first. And I just want to see how bright it actually is. Okay. So all the lights are off in my room. This is pretty bright, I must say. So I'm going to turn it this way so you guys can kind of see and I can see the button here. So again, this is power off, press down, power on. I'm holding the plus button right now. Oops, no, that was power. <laughs> and then I'm holding the plus button right now to get it. Oh, no. oh, I guess that's probably the brightest it goes. And I'm holding the minus button here to see about getting it a little bit dimmer. Y'all see the light getting lower? Oh, that's nice. So I guess that's the lowest it goes. And if I want to increase it again, oh, well, it looks like the power button doesn't really work. Not sure about that. Okay. Yeah, that's weird. When I turn it on and try to increase the brightness, it turns it off. Okay, there it is. Okay. I think there's just like maybe I was pressing the wrong side here. Okay. It's pretty bright. If I do say so myself, this is all the lights off in my room. And so, yeah, let's play around with some different photos, you guys. So, from here, I think I need to insert, what is this for? I'm not 100% sure what this piece is for. Oh, maybe like this. I think this go. oh, maybe it's like this to protect the, to protect the, um, oh, that's if you want to give it like, this is so cool, okay? So this is if you want to give it kind of like that, I guess blurred look kind of sort of I don't know but I think that's pretty cool yeah I don't know if you have to use this piece but I think if you want to just give the light a different effect you can with this so I'm gonna take this off for now okay and it says that um, to insert the piece so I'm gonna go ahead and insert the white background okay to use it you'll just insert the piece like this you'll slide it into a little insert towards the back oops and then you'll just fold it here at the bottom and it kind of conforms to, oh, okay, it has this little lip right here. I don't know if you guys can see this little tab right here. Let's see if I can pull it out right. And then I'm sure that piece just goes right up underneath here. Wow, this is cool. Oops. And you make sure it's all the way in the elastic band, like so, okay. And then you go ahead and clip it onto here. And then, yeah, y'all, look at that. Studio complete. How cool is that? So then what you want to do is you want to set your product here, and then you will take different photos. So this is kind of what it would look like, right? And then if you want to, when you open it up from the top, you all can kind of see what you're taking a photo of. So really quick, let me see if I have something to put in here. So these here are some press-on nails that um, I have available for for sale or whatnot and so if I wanted to I could put the product in here and have really good lighting to be able to take a really nice photo so say for instance I'm gonna take these out of the packaging here so say for instance I wanted to have I wanted to take a really cool photo of my nails right so what I would do is I'd probably put something behind it like this right and I'd let it stand up and because it's white in here the sides they have that reflective piece. I would just go ahead and I want to increase the brightness in here to the highest one. And then I'll just take my phone, right? And my phone, I'll just have it right here and then I'll take a photo of it. I'm gonna take a picture of it right now and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Let's see if I close it. Yeah, when I close it, it gives it even more brightness. Or if I want to take a picture of it from the top, I'm going to open this up, right, and I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to take the picture. So say if I want it laying down like this, right, oh, this is probably even a better way to take my nail photos. Right, let's say I want it like this, so I'll set it right here, right, 
and then I'll go in over the opening of it and zoom in right and take a photo yeah that's beautiful Oops. And if you wanted to you can even just set your set your phone here like this and put it here or maybe even here make it more centered right and then you can take photos like that hope you guys are getting all of this yeah and then another thing you can do is okay you guys and if you want to elevate things even more let me scoot this back so you guys can see everything I'm doing um, I did get this rotating disc from Timu um, I'm gonna leave it down in the description box well let me move this out the way so I did also get this rotating disc from Timu I'm gonna leave this down in the description box below so if you guys want to get your hands on it you can um, and you all can see the unboxing of it I have that on my haul as well but I'm gonna take this out here it's a cordless rechargeable um, rotating disc and I got it for the purposes of uh, doing nail stuff too okay I think my batteries are dead so let me change my batteries out here Okay, so now it's working. Um, so all you do is you press this button here and the plate starts to rotate, right? So what you could do, right, is if you wanted to, um, and the plate also comes with a white and silver background. So I'm gonna put this here in the middle, right? Then I'm gonna put my little white cover on here, like so. And then I'm gonna put my little press on nails on here, like so. <laughs> and if you want, right, that gives you a way to have your nails rotating, right, while you're taking pictures. How cool is that? Oh, I guess my battery ain't charged enough, but you all get the point. You also got the option to plug it in. So let me plug it in since my battery low. Yeah, since my battery low, it wasn't working, but you all get the point here. So I'd have to make sure my batteries are charged up. Um, but this cord is here, but it'll let you decide. So if you wanted to, you can like take pictures of your nails rotating. Why is I just doing that? Oh, you get the... Oh, that's another setting I didn't know about. Okay, you could have it just go left, right. Okay. So if you wanted to, right? If I wanted to, I could take pictures of my nails rotating like this. Um, let's see here. Do a little video, like so. I'll zoom in, like so. You don't want the background of it. You know, you don't want them to see that part of it. But you know, you kind of get the idea. So if you wanted to. You can have your products down here. It'll just give a nice luxe look feel to it. You know what I mean? So, yeah. And you can have anything here to take pictures and videos of, right? So say if you wanted to showcase, let me take this off, right? Say if you wanted to showcase, I don't know, some rhinestones or something, who knows, whatever product you're trying to sell you just kind of put it on there because it's well lit you have all of the you know you see all the bling because it's well lit you can see all angles of the product um, and even if you wanted to um, I also have like a studio light I just reviewed I'll leave a link down in the description box below if you needed more lighting coming from the front side like from this side you can have that light shine into here so the uh, the end the options are going to be endless when it comes to me playing around with this little thingy but you can even take the pictures like far back and then just zoom in on it right so I'm gonna go ahead and take this disc out but that's just one little way you can use this um and then let's see what else could I take a picture of in here let's say I wanted to take a picture of this Nelfi diamond right I would zoom all the way in on it and take the photo that way oops let me take oh, I don't know what I just did. Okay, photo. Okay, and I'll take the photo of it that way if I want it from the top. But there's actually shadows around it. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. I don't like the shadows, so I'll probably go from the front angle of it and take the picture. All right, and you all can see here that's what that looks like. Oops, and you all can see that's what the picture looks like. See how it looks all nice, crisp, and professional? And I'll show you guys too. This is what that video looked like with the press on nails. 
okay and this is what the first couple of photos look like but you see how it gives like just a nice professional look to the nails yeah it's really nice really really nice so you just play around with angles and shadows background colors things like that um, this is a really really cool product I love it I think this was a great buy so yeah I think this is a really cool product I think it was a great buy not only for people who um, sell products or have small businesses but then also for those who do nail content creation um, when you're doing you know videos for different companies and things like that taking pictures for different companies um, the, the, op the opportunities are endless and I just actually thought about it this could be a good backdrop for nail fees look at this look I don't know why I didn't think about that first but this could also be a good way for you to take good Nelfi photos. Okay, let's pause for the calls. Hold on. I could take a real good Nelfi from here. Look at that. Now my nails don't look all that great, but look, look at that. This Nelfi status, y'all. Nice clear background. I don't have to go outside. And even if I wanted to, right, I could actually get a background that looks like grass or something. I actually just purchased um actually just purchased this little cute thing from Target. It was a recommendation from Sandra's um, Sandra Sparkly Sets. So I'll leave her channel down below. But yeah, you can even just put this in here like that. And look at that backdrop, y'all. Look look at the backdrop for the Nelfi game. Stop playing with me. This is the backdrop for the Nelfi game. Wow. And if you want, you can go purchase some greenery so that it does look like you're outside. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. Y'all, look, I'm getting y'all hip the game. You're welcome, right? You're welcome. So, yeah, this, this really just makes life a hell of a lot easier, if I do say so myself. So, yeah, y'all, I think this was a really, really cool purchase. So, you guys, I think this was a really cool purchase. Um, this is, I did get this one from Timu, but this is also available on Amazon. So, I'm going to leave both of the links for this product down in the description box below. It's definitely well worth it. I think I paid around 25, between 25 and 30 bucks for it, and it's definitely worth that price point. Um, let me know if you all have tried this product, if you have other ideas for it, but but, um, it's phenomenal you know the the opportunities are endless you know be creative use your mind but this just gives you a little studio a little photo studio um, especially if you're someone who doesn't have a lot of space to you know be filming and doing all these different types of things this gives you um, a great opportunity to be able to do that and again all these backdrops are double-sided and again all these backdrops are double-sided so this could be backdrop in black backdrop red I mean, just the opportunities are really endless with this thing. I love this. So, yeah. Um, let me know your thoughts on this product. Have you guys tried it? Are you going to try it? Um, and, yeah, I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. If you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around and join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And, as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below. And I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye.